Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an all new hot new shit video. I've got a ton of stuff to show you guys. I've got books, I've got tech stuff, I've got skincare, I've got makeup literally everything. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my favorite new items, new things that I think are just really cool and interesting or I think you guys might like. And I'm gonna be hooking you guys up with discounts where I can so you guys can ball on a budget too. If you're new to my channel, welcome, hello, I'm so glad you're here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you do not miss anything else. But other than that, you can go ahead and keep on watching this video. if you watch me already that I'm obsessed with skincare so we're gonna jump right into skincare first so I found this new skincare line and it is a female entrepreneur that started it which you know that is my jam if you follow me I am all about female entrepreneurs so I've been trying out a couple of her products and I want to tell you guys about my two favorites it is the Alana Mitchell skincare line she is an esthetician she's created a whole line of really good high quality skincare items and I'm gonna share with you guys two of my faves first of all this quick comeback mask is the shit. It is like no other mask I've ever tried before. I don't even know how to describe it. Basically what happens is you like pop the top into the bottom and it looks like cotton when you look inside this chamber but when you do it it goes together and the cottony looking stuff dissolves. I don't even know what's happening, but it turns into like this gel mask you put on your skin. You put it all over your face, you leave it on for like 15 minutes, and then you take it off with warm water. It's a one-time use mask, but let me tell you, the results last like a week, I swear to God. It's smoothing, it tones the skin, it tightens, it firms. It's like a peel in a mask. Like, it's incredible. So that is her first item that I've been absolutely loving. The other thing from her line I've been trying is her night rl facial oil which is a nighttime facial oil with retinol in it retinol is amazing for anti-aging it totally changes damaged aging skin retinol is a really strong ingredient so you want to be careful in the sun and with waxing around when you're using it but it gives you incredible results when it comes to anti-aging i have been loving this stuff i've been using it a couple nights a week and i've seen such a difference and i love that it's a serum that is so focused on anti-aging and getting rid of fine lines and just helping your skin look young and youthful P.S. If I did not say it already, I will have everything linked down below in the description bar on YouTube. I will have links to the items, and if I have discount codes for you guys, I will have those down there as well to save you a little bit of money. So I think that's the only new skincare I've been using religiously. So I'm going to go into beauty and makeup next. First of all, ColourPop came out with their Luxe Lipstick line, which is a creamy lipstick line. I'm all about mattes, but I've really been into creams lately. I feel like I've been putting glosses on with everything. So I was really excited to see someone come out with a lipstick that wasn't completely matte. This is my favorite shade. I have it on. I also I also have a gloss on top but I want to swatch it for you guys because it is just a really pretty rosy I feel like this is like my nude shade like I wear these colors all the time and I love them with a little bit of gloss on top just to give them kind of like an ombre look this is the shade pinkies up and I think this is my favorite shade out of the new ones I'm not gonna lie the next makeup item I'm going to mention is Amrezi and Anastasia how could I not put this in my hot new shit video First of all, I have it on and look at this highlight. It is sickening how good this highlight is. It's so beautiful. Like how could this not be good on the skin? Look at it. What? But I mean, you can see it on me. I'm glowing to the heavens and I love a highlight. Anyone that knows me knows I love a highlight. So, oh my God. I just wanna like bathe myself in this. If you love highlights, you need to get this highlight. And if you have the Anastasia Pro discount, if you're licensed, it does work on this. So I got mine for like 18 bucks. Real good. Balling on a budget. Another beauty item I've been checking out are these rare lashes. I have two sets of these lashes, 100% cruelty-free mink lashes. The top style is Empress and the bottom is Reina. Look at that Reina lash. That is so glam. I love it. This is a super affordable mink lash line out of Toronto that I'm all about small biz. I'm all about supporting it and their lashes are sickeningly good. Another product I want to share with you guys that I guess falls into the beauty line is this perfume. Oh, I love this smell so much. The line is Sana Jardin Paris and this is the scent Berber Blonde. This is so delicious. It has orange blossom and neroli oil in it so it's just like this really warm 
like exotic. And the really cool thing about this company is that they give money back to where it is locally created. Their message is that they want to empower the workers of their fragrance line in Morocco. And I want to read what it says on here because I thought this was so cool. They're teaching social enterprise skills and enabling female harvesters in Morocco to upcycle floral waste from perfume production into a line of candles and orange blossom waters for sale through their own cooperative, which retains 100% of their revenue. That is beautiful, that is amazing, and I love that if someone is going to spend money on their perfume line, it's gonna go back into their economy and help their women there, and I think that is awesome. The last thing I've been totally hooked on that I just kinda of bought on a whim and I haven't put it down since is this Nature's Truth Lavender Roll-On. Literally, I took it to Mexico, it's perfect for travel. You just kinda of roll it on your pulse points. I put it behind my ears, behind my neck. But if you love lavender, this is such a good lavender. Some lavenders can be a little soapy. This one is so good and I've been putting it on every single night before bed just to help me relax and calm down. But I love that it's also compact enough that I can take it in my purse, put it on wherever and have lavender oil immediately. I'm gonna do some fashion items next. These shoes I have been so obsessed with. They're like slip-on Keds from Ugg, but they have this like faux fur on them so they're furry. They're such a like cute, trendy upgrade to like a normal black slip-on with this fur. It's so fun and it's so cute. I am absolutely loving these right now. They're so comfortable. I've been wearing them a ton. I just get really sad when it snows because then I can't wear them because I'm afraid I'll ruin them in the snow and the salt. I got this super cute bracelet from Divinity LA. All of their jewelry gives money back to a different cause. So this is the Ella bracelet. If you can see, there's like a tiny elephant charm on it. So cute. And it's like marble on one side, black on the other. And money from this goes to help elephants. How adorable is that? And who wouldn't want to wear a little elephant on them? So cute. I wanted to read the card so I gave you the actual info, but it goes to the International Elephant Foundation. I love it. Another really cool line I discovered lately is Bird and Stone. I'm so obsessed with their stuff and you're about to see why in just a second. So they make these custom bangles and a lot of people make these bangles. Okay, sure. But what I love is that they also donate money from each bracelet. So from each bracelet, $5 will go towards a different cause. The first one I have is the Dream Builder bracelet. It literally says Dream Builder on it. And $5 from this bracelet is invested into a female entrepreneur foundation, which you know I'm all about. But this one is my favorite and you guys need to go buy it because it's an amazing cause. It helps a lot of women and you just need to get it. First of all, it says the future is female. What? The really cool thing about this bracelet is that $5 from this goes to Planned Parenthood. And if you're hating on Planned Parenthood, shame on you because Planned Parenthood is not only abortions, which I feel like some people think that. Planned Parenthood gives paps, mammograms, helps save lives of women that need testing, can't afford to go to a gynecologist. They turn no one away and they give women the help they need. So buy yourself a bracelet, donate $5 and help Planned Parenthood. And plus, why would you not want a cuff that says the future is female? Like I'm all about this. I have a few tech items to show you guys. First is my Yeti Snowball podcast mic because if you guys didn't know, I recently launched my podcast. It is called Her Best F Life. And this is the microphone I bought off of Amazon and I can honestly say that I freaking love it. The sound quality is amazing. First of all, I can hear a huge difference when I record with it. I love it. It's white. It's super cute. It sits right on your desk and like, tell me this isn't a desk like peace. It just looks so cute on a desk for real. This next item I used a ton while traveling. It is the Tech Snake Power Bank. So I used this in Mexico and Disney World. I used it with my phone when I was taking videos or pictures and my battery was getting low. It hooks right into your iPhone. I honestly also used it to charge my laptop at one point because I forgot the cord to charge it. Um, this is super affordable, super cute, pink little bank. It comes in this little case so you can slip it right in your purse. It's easy to travel with and it holds hours of battery life for your phone, computer, anything else with a USB cord you can hook into it. And look at how cute and chic it is. It's so cute. This one is something I didn't even know I needed until I knew I needed it when I got it. This clips onto your desk, your table, whatever surface you are near, your laptop stand, your light things, whatever. This clips onto whatever you are like filming on. It's got this ring light that's, I love how bendy this is. Like you could literally do anything you want with it. This part is adjustable and holds your phone or your camera or whatever you're using. But like this duo is so perfect for doing live video if you're an entrepreneur and you do live videos a lot, your Insta stories, if you want to film something for YouTube, like 
This is a game changer and it's so affordable and cheap. I found it on Amazon, so click the link down below to check it out because I mean, even for photos, this is so great. If you're like me and I do everything on my own, like I don't have a tripod and I can't hold a phone or a camera like at a right angle without holding it and I wanna do something hands-free, this is so perfect for that. It's gonna upgrade your lighting and just make you look like a pro. My last tech item is going to be these phone cases from Chroma Case. So Chroma Case is really awesome. They sent me a ton of them to check out and I am loving them. You guys have probably seen the one with the pink bows in my selfies lately. I'm actually filming with my phone so I can't show it to you. But they sent me two frames. So you pick a frame color. I got white and black. And then they have clear inserts for all different cases. I have polka dots. I have a blot of floral and the one on my phone that you've seen in my selfies is pink bows. Chroma case are really awesome phone cases. Lots of options, lots of color combos. Really easy to create your own cover and make it custom. So the next things I'm gonna show you are a couple like lifestyle things I've really been using a lot. So the first, I am so obsessed with ginger tea. It's not even funny. Ginger is really good for your digestion, really good for inflammation. Ginger is just really good for you and also lemon. So this is an organic lemon ginger tea. It is caffeine free, so I like to drink it at night in the place of snacking to keep me a little healthy, but Sometimes it's still snack. But I've been drinking this every single night. It's really good for upset stomach too. I feel like it's just really soothing on the stomach. Really helps you digest what you've had that day. And it's just delicious, especially if you like ginger. It's got like a little bit of a spice to it. I love this stuff. I add a little bit of raw honey into it and it's like the perfect nighttime tea. I like to get organic tea as well because there's some items like, things like bananas that you take the peel off of that you don't have to get organic of and you're still okay, but it's safer with items where you're not removing anything. You're literally steeping tea leaves in your water, so anything in them is going to go into the water. If you're not buying organic tea, you're risking having pesticides or whatever was sprayed on the leaves prior to packaging getting into your water. So try to get things like coffee and tea organic when you can. Next item, which I'm obsessed with teeth whitening. If you guys can't tell, I whiten them all the time. Um, and I like to have a toothpaste that whitens as well in between treatments. So I got this dental expert. I got the mint flavor, but there's a lot of other flavors. So if you're not a big mint fan, there was like orange, a couple different ones. So you could check them out. But this is a charcoal toothpaste. This is literally a black toothpaste. Um, you look a little crazy, it's a little weird, but I feel like this gives you like an instant sparkling, shining smile. It just kind of like boosts the whiteness a little bit more. I've really been liking it. It doesn't taste weird, it doesn't feel funny. Sometimes I feel like the powder ones are a little strange and messy and they fall all over the place, where this will be a lot more clean. It is just in the toothpaste, so you don't have to worry about a messy powder everywhere. I got this on Amazon too, and this brand had like amazing reviews, so that's why I got it, and the reviews are accurate. It is pretty darn amazing. So I just got this and if you guys make shakes of any kind, I love to make the superfood green shakes with the green powder or if you guys like to make protein shakes for breakfast. This is a super cool item. I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do just because I was like, oh cool, it mixes shakes. But first of all, I'll show you guys. There's a button down here on the bottom. It's USB chargeable and when you press it, it mixes, can you see it spinning? Yeah. This is all your powders together like a blender without carrying a blender with you. This is detachable, so this comes right off when you're ready to go, so then you just have your shake bottle. But the really cool feature about this, which I didn't even realize until I got it, was this little part right here. You can put your powders in there and put your liquid in the bottom to keep them separate to take it with you. So if you wanna make a shake later in the day and not already have it pre-mixed, which they can get a little thick or like weird sometimes if you mix them and then don't have them right away and you wait. So you can totally travel with it separate and add it when you're ready to have it, and you're good to go. Like, how convenient is that? So this is from Vita Goods. It's a super good deal. I'll have everything linked down below about how you guys can get this. If you are a shake drinker, if you're busy, if you're on the go, this is super convenient. So the last few items I'm gonna share with you guys are gonna be some books I've been loving lately. Um, the first one is the new Gary Vee book, Crushing It. This is great if you're an entrepreneur, just want some motivation. He talks to a ton of people in this book. There is a ton of good content in this book from a ton of good people. Obviously, I saw it on Gary Vee's stuff, but then I saw Lauren Everett's posting about it from the Skinny Confidential that she was actually in the book so I was like oh I gotta get it I love Lauren so it has a ton of awesome like motivational empowering info in it a second book that I actually took to Mexico with me because I wanted to read while I was there and so I took this with me it's a biggie this is the Tim Ferriss book tribe of mentors so this one has a ton of contributors in it that he contacted and asked them for short life advice he had these questions he sent them and they all sent them back there are a ton of people in this book. There's a ton of inspiration, motivation, advice from people that are really accomplished, really successful, and I'm really hooked in it right now. I'm not gonna lie. 
The last book I wanna share with you guys today is actually a Bible. I'm sorry if you don't believe in religion, but I do wanna share this. I shared on my social media that I no longer attend the church I was going to. It's a long story, I just didn't believe or align with something that they were promoting there. So I just decided it was no longer serving me and it no longer was fitting where I was at in life anymore. So I made the decision to no longer attend and I was very conflicted about it and I felt like I had to do something else I ended up seeing this in a review on YouTube and it literally showed up the next morning and I was like, well, if that isn't a sign, I don't know what is. So I ordered it immediately. It is the She Reads Truth Bible. It comes in all different colors and stuff. It's just this really pretty linen Bible. I got this gray and gold. It's a Christian standard Bible, but what I really like about this is, first of all, I went to Catholic school. I've always gone to church, but I've never read the Bible. I know that makes me like a horrible person in the eyes of the church, but I literally never like studied the Bible or read the Bible religiously. And so I took this as an opportunity to kind of get into that on my own and start exploring the Bible in my own way and in my own time. And this is just really cool because they've broken it down for like a more modern day woman. It's broken down into what you should read each day, each week. It kind of guides you through reading it because if you've never read a Bible, it can be a little weird and confusing if you don't know like how to do it. It can be a little overwhelming. Um, but I love this because at the end of each section, there's like a page with like a writing um, about like how you could interpret this into a modern day situation for today's women. Um, and there's also pages with like cute quotes and they've really decorated it just to be like really pretty and like aesthetic pleasing and Instagram worthy. So I've like really been enjoying exploring the Bible on my own and not guided through like a church or anything and really doing it like at my own pace and in my own time and in my own way. It's been a really cool experience and I've been reading a little bit every morning. I've been following the guides for like how much to read each day and what to read together and I've been doing it every morning with my coffee and I just really really have thoroughly enjoyed doing this. So if you are someone that is somewhat religious connected to a church or not and you want to kind of get into something I highly recommend this as like a guided way to get into a Bible that will kind of guide you and help you be comfortable as you read through the Bible. So I almost forgot to mention these two items and I'm so glad I remembered because I really wanted to share them with you guys. When I went to Mexico, I wore a very strappy V-neck backless dress for the beach wedding. I'll throw a picture of it up here, but like I could not wear a bra with this thing. And I was like, what am I gonna do? My boobs aren't huge, but I needed some kind of support on these bad boys because like you can't be having a Janet Jackson nip slip at a beach wedding. Like that's just not cool. So I did my research on Amazon. I wanted to find some good ass boob tape because I know everyone tapes their boobs. And I was like, I don't know what to get. Like, I don't know what to get. I don't know what to do. I did my research and I got the Spartan tape. This stuff is amazing. I taped my boobs with that dress and they were like totally fine. It didn't come off. They didn't fall. It stayed secure. I will say, do not put this on your nips because it will hurt. I figured that out the first time when I test drove it. But I got to use with them, which this was like power couple, duo of the year right here, like game changer. I got these Pinky Petals cover-ups. They're little silicone um, nip covers. So these are sticky. You take the backing off and you stick them right over the nip. And these were amazing. Like I was shocked at how great these were. And it doesn't hurt when you take them off. So I put these on first and then I did the tape over it to kind of like do it. And I was like good to go. Like I feel like I could have run a marathon with these two on and I would have been fine. Like the girls would have been good. So if you are like playing around with the boob tape thing, like this stuff works. These two together, power couple. So I think that is all the new stuff I have to show you guys. Like I said, everything will be linked down below where you can find it. If I've got discounts for you guys to hook you up, that will be down there as well. But I think that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you do not miss anything else. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you've used any of these items, if you're getting them, if you already love them. Let me know what you're thinking. I will have my face on the screen here per usual. If you click it, you will be subscribed to my channel. I will also have some other videos for you guys to check out as well. Make sure you're following me on all my other social media, especially Instagram, because I post a ton of crap constantly. If you guys haven't checked out my podcast yet, you can find it on iTunes and Stitcher. It is called Her Best F***ing Life. Why would I call it anything but that? But I'm really excited about the podcast. It's been super exciting. I hope you guys are enjoying it. You've been giving me great reviews so far, so I'm super pumped about that. But I think that is all I have to say right now. So until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.